The movie Hidden Figures highlighted the contributions of three unknown women working for NASA. Now meet another woman who also changed the Aerospace Center and the science world. Our Keisha Butts has a story. We had one of those big TVs. It's like a big box. And then my father would open it up and I could see these mechanical things inside. And I was wondering how, how did those mechanical things end up with a picture on the screen. This is Valerie Thomas. Her interest in science peaked as a child, watching her father fix television sets and develop pictures. He was able to show through the lens the, um, the negative that he had, and he would move it so it would go up, come down, and then it would get larger, larger on the, um, the paper, or it got smaller. Now, at the time, I didn't know that was optics. Little did Thomas know she would receive a physics degree from Morgan State University in 1964 and eventually earn a job as a data analyst at NASA Goddard Space Flight Center. I had to work on computers. I had not even seen a computer before in my life except in science fiction movies. She says she had to learn on the job. I was, I, I was a girl and a woman who wasn't afraid of challenges, you know. That just got me to do what I need to do to excel. She is known for working on landmark projects like Landsat, the first satellite to take images of Earth from space. I guess it gave me more of a chance to get into science. She even led a team of scientists in the Space Physics Analysis Network, better known as SPAN. NASA was growing the network and becoming involved with other networks, and eventually they all came together as the internet. She says she loved working for NASA at the time. The most interesting thing is I had a chance to work on projects in areas that were like five, ten years ahead of, you know, when average person would know about it. Then in 1980, Thomas received a patent for the illusion transmitter, which creates 3D images. NASA uses this patent today. I'm glad to see people using it. I would like to see what they do. I did go to see one company to see what they were doing with it. But, um, but that makes me feel like maybe it's time to get back into that and do it the way I had envisioned it. Retiring in 1995, she is now helping youngsters develop their passion for science as a substitute teacher at Duval High School. One student asked me, why are you here? You know, they looked at my, they, what they do is they Google me. So they said, why are you here? I said, I'm here to inspire students. Keisha Butts, CTV News. And scientists have also used her patent to create devices used for surgeries and televisions.